Good morning, and welcome to the Shack and First Monday Morning Minute. All right, guys, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you what happens once we create an account for you via our lab portal. So you're going to get an email. It's going to look just like this from no reply. Good news. Your account has been successfully created by Shack and First. You're going to click on that, and then you're going to hit this link. It's going to bring you to the lab portal, and it's going to request that you type in your username. All right, so username, you can pick whatever you want, but I would just recommend doing your name and then password. You can pick any password you like as well. We would recommend using a special character and a capital letter in there just in case. So you hit complete. Once you do that, you can log in. All right, so once you're logged in, this is the lab portal. So this is where you'll see any open cases that you have open with us right now. Since this is a brand new account, there's nothing going to be here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to new case. All right, and this is where you're going to enter the patient's details. So uh, let's say, for example, here we're going to do John Smith, 27. You choose what you want to put here. And then the address, this is going to be the address that we set up your account with. But if you have multiple addresses, you'll just pick the other address that you want to ship to. Okay, so if you have another address for a second location, you can pick that right here. Uh, once you do that, we're going to add lab products. So when you're here, this is where you're going to specify exactly what you want. If you just need a case evaluation, you'll do case evaluation. If you need a stat, you're going to do a stat. It's important here that when you're adding the lab products, you do one at a time. So in this case, we're, doing, we're going to do case evaluation, all right, standard case evaluation or CBCT case evaluation, uh, four, five, six, all right. Please select the restoration you would like the case evaluated for. So you'll just go down here and you'll just answer these questions. So are you sending models or impressions to the lab? Yes, STL files attached. So we'll get to that point in a little bit. So you just mark on here, are you sending STL files? Are you sending the physical models or impressions? You pretty much pick what it is. In this case, I'm gonna do um, yes, mailing physical models or impressions. Um, will you be extracting teeth? If yes, please indicate in the notes. I'll just do that. But for right now, I'll just put no. Is DICOM being uploaded or stent? So if you're uploading a CBCT, you're gonna do that. Otherwise, um, you could just attach the printout of the pan, okay? Um, so sent with the case, if you're sending them in the mail, all right? If you're sending it with the actual impressions or the models, you're uploading it below. If no, the case will be put on hold until received. So you really don't wanna start this whole process until you have everything here. Uh, so I'm just gonna put upload it below. Uh, would you like to send the appropriate implant and pilot drills? If you choose yes, we will send the implants and the drills automatically with the case and we will automatically charge you. So this is very important. If you don't need the implants and drill, put no. If you need just the drill or just the implants, please mark that accordingly. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna do yes, implants and drills. And then here you can write any kind of notes. You can be as detailed as possible. So whatever you wanna say here, um, you can put it. All right, so once you do that, you wanna hit okay, all right? Now that's one product, all right? So all we did was do a case evaluation. If you want a stent made right away, this is where you'll make the stent, crown and bridge, all right? So we'll do the stent next, for example, and then we'll do the crown and bridge after this as well. But it's important that once you fill all this out, you hit okay. And then when you wanna add something additional, you'll hit the add button and add that in there too. So uh, in this case, let's see here, I'm gonna do a stent. CBCT surgical guided stent, four, five, six. Um, is DICOM being uploaded or sent? Uploaded below. Order and send appropriate implants and drills. So even though we set it up here, um, we're going to do that here. Please select the restoration you would like your case evaluated for. So here's what we're going to do. So this is where you pick fix on six, roundhouse, bridge, whatever it is. I'm going to do bridge. Are you sending models or impressions to the lab? Um, yes, mailing physical models or impressions. I think that's what I said earlier. If not, 
you pretty much whatever's here should be the same as whatever you did here. Um, will you be extracting any teeth? I'm going to put no, and then you can put any notes in here. Um, please use six or three holes, three, three sleeves. Whatever, whatever notes, you just want to be as detailed as possible. You hit OK. And then if I wanted to add another product, I could add it here as well. Like I said, the crown and bridge of the dentures. But I think that's enough there. Now, here's where we're going to upload the files. Um, you'll just upload the file here. So your DICOM files, you want to make sure that they're in a zipped folder. You can upload them here. Your STL files, you can upload them here. Um, if you want to take photos of the patient's teeth, uh, face, uh, whatever it might be, anything that will help out with this case, you can add as much information here as you'd like. Um, you can just zip them up, put them into different folders, and then drop them in here. This will not accept um, a, a folder. The folder has to be zipped before you actually drop it in here. Um, enclosures. So enclosures, you can select different enclosures here. I'm going to keep it blank. You don't always have to. Um, shipping to the lab. So if you have digital impressions and a CBCT, the DICOM file is uploaded, you can just put not applicable. But if you're going to be shipping the um, impressions or anything, as noted up here, you'll just put today, tomorrow, X, Y, Z, return date. This is so important, OK? The return date. Um, you, you want to make sure that you leave enough time. So if you guys don't have the lab turnaround times, um, you're going to want to request that from us, and we'll send that to you. That way you know exactly how long each restoration or each um, lab procedure will take. So if you're making a stent, for example, it might take five days. Or if you're doing bite rims, it's going to take four days in the lab. Uh, set up, it might take six days in the lab. So you want to make sure you have the lab turnaround times. Um, and you want to make sure that you're picking the right date, right? So if I want a surgical stent, today's the 27th of November, I don't want to pick the 29th. If it's going to take five business days and you're sending it in today, I would count one, two, three, four, five, okay? And then you want to allow two days for shipping. So one, two. So you would expect this to get there on the 7th. So that's the date you're going to pick. You're going to hit okay. And then time, if the patient's scheduled, you want to make sure you put the correct time in there. I'm just going to pick that. And then here, you can add any notes you would like. Literally write anything that you think will help uh, the lab techs, Dr. Shack, and when he's planning the case, whatever it may be, any information, uh, don't be afraid to put that in there. You're going to want to hit, I agree to the terms and conditions. And you're going to want to hit submit case. If you save it as a draft, we're not going to get it. You must submit the case. All right, do that. And you want to hit submit case again, sending case details. Congratulations, your case has been successfully submitted to Shack and First. Please print a copy of the RX and send it to the lab with your case. So what we'll do is we'll hit OK. You're going to hit print RX. You're going to print this out. And this is what you're going to take. And you're going to place this in the box with your PBS impressions, models, whatever it is that you're sending to us physically. You have to print this out and place this in the box. That way, when it comes to our facility, we're able to marry this with everything that you uploaded online. All right, that's the final step. Um, if you're uploading STL files and you're sending in the DICOM files, you won't have to do this because you're not sending anything physically in the mail. You're only going to need to print this out and put it in the box if you're sending us something in the mail. All right, I hope this helps. Let us know if you guys have any questions. Thank you. And before I let you guys go, I really quickly want to mention that we're holding our March advanced course. It's our first advanced course of the year. It's going to be on March 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. It's a three-day course, all right? The first two days are advanced training, and the third day, it's a special, special day. It's strictly problem-solving. Dr. Thomas Baggett, he's going to be leading the lecture, and we're going to be discussing in-depth different problems that some of our doctors all across the country and world have faced. And we want to be able to pinpoint each and every one of those issues and provide you guys with solutions to every single one of them. That way, when you are on your implant tour and you're placing these implants, if you do run into any of these issues, you know exactly what to do every single step of the way. So it's a very special course. We only hold it twice a year. But if you haven't signed up yet, 
We already have 100 doctors. That's right, 100 doctors will be here in Buffalo on March 21st, 22nd, and 23rd to attend this course. We do have a few spots available. If you're interested in coming, please call or send us an email and we'll help get you registered. All right, thank you so much. And we're looking forward to seeing you next week on the Monday Morning Minute.